Now I'm live. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. I'm learning this stuff. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Now I'm live. Okay, cool. Anybody out there just doing a test run? As you guys know, I want to do start doing a podcast for um, content creators like myself who are dealing with the everyday struggles. They want to get monetized for their craft. So we want to be there. We want to have it ready to go. So uh, there we are. So if anybody out there, I'm live. I would love to see some people in the chat. Oh, there we are. There we are. All right, cool. I'm on Facebook. Very cool. I'm live right now. You can comment. Right now, you can comment. Just do your thing. Come in and see me. That works. I will be here. build up an audience here but uh we shall see that's cool okay all right i am here i am here and i'm getting my vid iq uh stats right now which is fine okay like I said, guys, this is just a practice run. Um, the question I want to ask, though, is are you a creator? Do you enjoy making content and do you want to make a living at it? If so, you join my broadcast here, my live stream, and uh, let your voice be heard. I'd love to have you on as a guest and love to show you on video. Broadcasting live here on StreamYard, Facebook, and YouTube, which is awesome. I might actually add Twitter to this. See if I can. That'd be great. Maybe even Twitch. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, anybody out there? Hey, Gabe, what's up? Uh, Yellow Culinary Arts has just joined me. What is StreamYard? It is actually a platform where you can do video live streams and video podcasts and that's exactly what i'm doing right now so this is just a practice run i'm just playing around i got a new piece of gear because another piece of my gear was broken i went and invested in something a little bit better to hold up my microphone and my microphone shield and even came with little straps to hold the microphone cable down which is great so yeah gave you on youtube right now I'm guessing you are. So, uh, yeah. But um, definitely want to put it out there. Um, in case you guys are wondering, Yellow Culinary Arts, that's uh, my former student. He is a creator himself. He has a cooking channel. Uh he needs subscribers like the rest of us do. You know what? He's got some really good stuff. He's cooked some really good food. He's doing some virtual cooking, of course, right now. But let's see you cook some real food, bud. Not that your virtual stuff, your game stuff is great. But you know what? I like it when you cook real food because you do really good at it. So we're going to discuss uh, several different topics on this little broadcast sometimes. And uh, it's just something I really want to do. Anybody out there? 
Got one person. Okay. So uh, let's see who else we got. YouTube, nobody's on there. It's all right. I know it's a little lag in the thing with the. So I'm going to go to the Facebook app, see what we got here. All right, let's see what we got. Yes, I'm still live here. Okay, we've been on for six minutes. And uh, we're doing it. Yeah, I am almost at 10,000 views, Gabe. Um, past the 9,100 mark. And... Uh, the last video I did actually compared to the other videos I've done actually did very well. Um, some people are like, well, you don't do good unless you get 10,000 views. My last video got 210, you know, compared to the last one in the last two weeks got 40. I think I did all right. And uh, my last video, we covered a very controversial topic. Pineapple on pizza. Does it belong? I say yes, it does. What do you guys think? If you want to know, um, if you're on YouTube watching this right now, you can uh, go to the link, you can subscribe to my channel, and you can, it, as soon as you hit the link to my channel, and once you get on it, I always put my brand, my newest video on to premiere to show what we're doing on the channel, which is great. And I think that's my wife texting me. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is my wife. Yes, almost to 10,000 views. But that's the thing, you know, when you're going to post something on a video... Make a, a interesting topic that people want to talk about. I got a lot of hate from people who saying that pineapple does not belong on pizza. But um, they were talking about it. And the fun part was, is I got to see this video and find out. Aha. And they did. They watched the video. Yellow Culinary Arts, did you watch the video of my Hawaiian pizza? Well, I thought it was a great video, and I used a lot of different camera angles. As you guys can see behind me, I have some of my camera gear. Um, I have one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I like to use when I'm filming my GoPro 7 Silver. Yes, it's a GoPro 7. I don't have a GoPro 10. Guess what? I get what I can afford, and I use what I have. You know, we all do. I hooked it up on a uh, ReadyCam tabletop tripod. I call it. My GoPro Cinema Rig, I have a power pack attached to it. And I have, it's inside of a small rig cage and it has a microphone. It's it's kind of a cool little setup. I like it. It's like the miniaturized version of what I have in the back on my um, newer tripod, which is good. I originally, I like to film. I have a Canon M50 Mark II 
that I film on. I, I like it. It's a small camera. It um I did build it out into a cinema rig. And I have sitting on that right now, I have a um broken on 35 millimeter cine lens, which is a beautiful lens. I use it for like product shots and to get up close. And when I'm gonna be filming uh Nora and Henny's Cupcake Adventure, I'm gonna use that to get a separation, kind of a depth of field, little separation between Henny and Nora. And in case you don't know about what about Nora and Henny's Cupcake Adventure, Henny is a little hippopotamus, purple hippopotamus my wife found at um, a craft fair December 4th last year. So we, I took some inspiration from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and... Um, you know, we had puppets and real people interacting and talking together. And King Friday was a puppet. His niece was a regular person. You know, it was just some inspiration from that. Basically, Henny is adopted. And she and her mama, my wife, go on adventures because we are her forever family go on adventures about making cupcakes, which is kind of cool. You put a little twist on it, but a lot of people think, well, that's kind of wasting a lot of time. You should, you should get right to the cooking. It's like, well, it's 50% cooking and 50% storytelling. It's something we really want to bring up, you know, is um, it's about adoption and it's about just because somebody's adopted into a family doesn't make them any less part of that family. I mean, I'm experienced with this. My three brothers and my younger, my three younger brothers and my younger sister were all adopted into our family. Um, my brothers, Chris, Sean, and Josh, and my sister, Nellie. So this is something I know a lot about. And um, we wanted to share that just because someone is different doesn't mean they're less. And I, I've also learned that about, and I also explained that in my um, other regular series I do on YouTube, Watch Me Cook. Um, some of you guys don't know this, but I was diagnosed with high-functioning autism when I was um, um, uh, when I was 11 years old. So uh, I... Um, had to learn things a very challenging way, and uh, it happened, and uh, I had to deal with a lot of bullying and stuff. I have been physically assaulted by teachers twice. I've been bullied by many, many teachers growing up. It happened. I had a teacher in the third grade slap me across the face. No? No? I know what it's like to be the kid who doesn't understand things like everybody else and nobody wants to play with them when they're little. Um, in the 1980s, that was me. So I understand that. So anyway, um, that's what our two series are about. And also uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing uh, – I have actually been approved to do paid to be get monetized on Facebook. So I'm going to be doing uh, paid online events, paid online cooking classes. Currently working on setting that up right now just to see if I can figure out how to get it where it's really nice and posh. Uh, I want to put out a really first class product that people will want to pay for. Hey, Catalina Treats Gluten Free Kitchen. How's it going? It's going good. I'm just on here shooting the breeze and um, sharing a little bit about what I'm doing and what I want this little broadcast to be about. And um, I actually broke my microphone stand. I got a new one in. Um, this is really heavy duty and it's really helped my microphone. Uh, I re helped me rearrange my microphone and I can actually speak better, which is good. But, um, So, 
yeah, that's that's about my my series. I um, watch me cook is about how you know the theme of my series. Watch me cook is just because you have a diagnosis doesn't mean that's your destiny. And um, Nora and Henny's cupcake adventure is about making cupcakes, but it's also about just because somebody is. Yes, I'm on Streamyard, and I love this. I love this platform, and I've done the overlays and stuff, and I love it. Yes, I'm on Streamyard, and it's really really good. I really am enjoying this. Um, I was going to do this on Podbean, but I want to do a video platform. I wanted to share it using video instead of just using my voice. Because um, I want to share this with other creators, you know, Jesse, like you, I want to share with other creators. And, you know, we all want our voices to be heard. We all want to get to that point where we're, We've got the 100,000 subscribers and we've got people following us and we just want to make ourselves be known. And it's, that's kind of what I want to do. But yes, I'm on StreamYard right now and I'm really enjoying this platform. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, okay. Yeah. Actually, I I did that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I I did that. Okay. Yeah. I I I did. Yeah. There we go. I fixed it. Actually, I'm glad Catalina Treats Gluten Free Kitchen is here because she interviewed me just the a week ago about my channel, and she's the one who introduced me to StreamYard, which is, is great. And I um, definitely want to use this platform. And um, So I was actually just watching another one of... Um, Another podcast I follow that's video. It's uh, My World with Jeff Jarrett. And um, they were doing a video podcast. And I really enjoyed seeing that. And it'd just be great to be able to talk about cooking and talk about stuff going on. And actually talk with other creators. And um, just exchange and share our struggles and support each other as we're trying to achieve our goal. You know, some of us actually want to do this for a living. So I want to share that part. And um, I'm very happy to say that uh, I now have 262 subscribers and almost 10,000 views, which is great. Uh, I'm very happy with that. You know, everyone's like, well, 262 is not enough. You're not doing anything right unless you got 100,000 subscribers. Ball. That's crap. Okay, do I respect and am I celebrating the success of the people who have 100,000 subscribers? Yes, I just saw Philip Lemoyne's YouTube play button. You know what? He earned that. He works hard for it. He deserves it. And when my time comes and I get my YouTube play button and don't guarantee, I guarantee you I will. So will uh, Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen. So will Yellow Culinary Arts. We're going to get there. When that time comes, we're going to get there. And you know what? When we get it, we're going to deserve it. Those people who have their YouTube play buttons for their half a million half a million subscribers. You know, I just heard Mr. Beast has 100 million subscribers. We're going to get there. Our time is coming. It's going to happen. And we're just going to keep working at it and keep getting it done. And... Keep doing what we got to do. And I'm sure a lot of you guys, I hope are listening to this, can relate to this. It's like, well, I only have 60 views. I quit. Don't. There was a time I only had 60 subscribers. And I was making videos off of a Samsung tablet, a, my district iPad, my iPhone, and my school laptop. Yeah, 
And I was using another tablet as a monitor to check all my other camera angles. I used a bunch of tablets and what the time came, I wanted to upgrade. It's like, I got to give me some real cameras. And I did. You know, some of the best videos I've seen, some of the people who've gotten the most subscribers and the most views on their videos do it straight from their phone, from their cell phone. Am I a tech guy? Yes. Um, I actually did a little product review. I um, bought a couple of tripods. I have a Komen KX3636 tripod. It's a heavy duty one, video camera tripod. And the legs started slipping. So I thought I was going to take it back. And then, so I ordered another one. I ordered a newer tripod, which is a lot taller than the Komen one is and um, had the same problem. And I fixed it. I thought I was like, oh, I'll just take one back. But you know what? I like them both. I decided for the product thing, I'm going to keep them. Why? Because I like gear. I do. I love gear. I'm a gear guy. I, I love gear. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm envious of the people who are getting millions of views and they just do it from their phone. And you know what? They do great and amazing videos. And I think it's great. I still use my phone. I used my phone today to film some shots for our upcoming episode of Nora and Henny's Cupcake Adventure. Wife and I were in a restaurant and we were filming this interaction between Nora and Henrietta. Henrietta, little stuffed purple hippo made a yarn talking on the phone. It's hilarious. So we filmed this interaction and I actually did it on my iPhone. And uh, a friend of mine, Edward Fee, actually hooked me up. He is our digital video production teacher at Fairfield High. And um, he was actually one of the producers on Transformers. Guy's great. I've gotten so much advice from him. He and Philip Lemoyne are the two people I've gotten the most advice about filming and really, really awesome. And uh, he hooked me up to the uh, Filmic Pro app, which you can get on your iPhone or your Samsung or your um, Android. And this app is great. And I bought it. It was a $15 app, which, and it's worth it because, um, I actually adjusted my settings and the settings on the iPhone, this app will readjust them themselves. My phone is the best camera I have. I can film in 1080p and do it at 240 frames per second. It's the best phone camera I have. So I actually have a separate beautiful cinema rig set up, including an external monitor just for my phone. Because you know what? Your phone can be your greatest camera. I even have an ND filter set up where I can put it over my camera lenses on my phone and I have an ND filter on there. Because your phone can be your greatest asset. Even with this right here, my all three of my cameras, including this one, this is in a small rig cage. And in this cage, I can put two side handles, a top handle, and I have an adapter where I actually plug an external monitor into this. I plug in my power pack into the phone so I can charge it because when you run video or recording stuff on your phone, it drains your battery. So I actually have an extra power pack to handle that. But yeah, some of the best, best videos I've seen are on this phone. There's actually in, there's actually a video uh, called watch my first video I did. It was um, one of my episodes of watch me cook, watch me cook on my birthday was completely done on my iPhone and a Samsung tablet. It was like, really? It's like, yeah. I got a bunch of $2 adapters and I hooked up a microphone to my tablet and you know, I worked with what I had and I think I produced a pretty good episode. We did the layovers and it, it was a lot of fun. Now, when I want to go somewhere to video, I got to, it takes two trips to load up all my gear, but you know what? That's okay. But I know for a fact, um, Gabe, you use your phone to um, Yellow Culinary Arts uses his phone and a tripod and a microphone and he makes some great videos. 
So it's good stuff. And I think a friend of mine said, don't worry about what you don't have. Do what you can with what you have. And if all you have is a cell phone and a tripod, do it. Just start making content. You know, I'm looking all the time online at cameras. I'd like to get, you know, I'd like to get a Canon C100 Mark III or I'm looking at a Canon C70 that's thousands of dollars or even a Blackmagic Pixel camera. And, you know, maybe I'll have that one day if I make some extra cash, but maybe I won't. I have my Canon M50. It works. It's a great little camera. I've got a nice little setup and I work with what I have. I have my camera here with my Filmic Pro app that films at 240 frames per second. It works. What's up? My father-in-law's in the kitchen making dinner. He's making meatloaf. Guy makes the best meatloaf ever. That's right. That might actually be a future episode of Watch Me Cook. Meatloaf, the most misunderstood dish that people love to hate or hate to love. I don't know. I love the stuff. I love a good meatloaf. And you know what? If you get meatloaf, if you ask 50 different people to make meatloaf, it's going to get done 50 different ways. I love meatloaf. It's good. But anyway, getting back to what I'm saying. If you're listening to this, if you're a new content creator, say, well, I can't do that. I don't have a nice camera. I need one of those $6,000 big vid. No, you don't. Start with this and then work up to that. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I have a GoPro 7 Silver. It's about three GoPros behind the modern one. And I have my Canon M50 Mark II, which from what I can see has already been replaced by the Canon M6 Mark I and II. What's your question? Catalina treats gluten-free kitchen. What's your question? Why is there not a chicken fried meatloaf? Ooh. 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 Oh, my. Oh, my. Give me about a week and there will be. It's a great way to do leftover meatloaf. A chicken fried meatloaf sandwich. Oh, gosh. That sounds good. Take the meatloaf, soak it in buttermilk and hot sauce and all that stuff. Bread it, fry it. Put it between a toasted onion burger bun with lettuce and tomato. Oh, jeez. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm on that. That, that sounds good. That sounds really good. That sounds really, really, really good. Oh, my gosh. That's, yeah. That sounds pretty awesome. And I just realized something, uh, Jesse, that the whole time I was like, oh, yeah, this is a practice run for a podcast. We've been on for, I've been on for 30 minutes. I guess we're doing episode one and didn't even know it. 
That's cool. Okay. I'm going to actually get my intro video in here. I'm Chef Tom Dickinson. It's time to watch me cook. I'm, why, why not? Why not? That sounds really yummy and delicious. I think that's that's great. Let me check. Let's see what's on YouTube. Two are watching now. Very cool. Yeah, it's uh, you, Jesse, and Gabe. Yeah. Very cool. But um, like I said, if you are starting out and you want to make cooking content or any content, start out with this. Accessorize. This small rig cage was like 40 bucks. I just accessorized, bought it a piece at a time. And when I got my bonus at the end of the year for COVID, teaching through the pandemic, um, yeah, so it happens. All right, so. But yeah, and um, especially for cooking content, everybody's like, well, I can't get a tripod. They're too expensive. No, they're not. Cell phone tripods are about 20, 30 bucks. Okay. It's like, I can't find one for my stove. Well, bring it back. I actually just did a product review on this one. This right here, this wonderful, wonderful thing is my ready cam tabletop tripod. And as you can see, I have on here my, I call it my GoPro cinema rig. Got my power pack, got my microphone. It's in a small rig cage. I got my polarizer filter on here for my little waterproof sports camera. This is the camera I do. When I do my refrigerator shots inside the fridge, it's like, yes, I open the drawer and there's a camera inside the refrigerator. Yes, it's this one. I just take it off the tripod, unplug this, and uh, there I go. I take the microphone out because the microphone in here is a... Okay, Catalina Treats has another question. Said, I have another cooking question. I will be making ground beef and small golden potatoes in the same pan. I cook the meat first or the potatoes or cook them at the same time. Start cooking the potatoes first. They're going to take longer because of all the starch in them. Start cooking them first. Give it about a couple minutes and then um, start browning your ground beef. Now you, why do I have a camera in the fridge? Because it's fun. This thing here, when I seal it up, I take this out. I have a button that goes over this thing right here. I can close this side up and it's completely watertight. It's waterproof. No moisture can get in there. You want to cook some of the fat out of the beef? That works too. Cook some of the, you can actually cook the meat first and then take the stuff out, take the fat out, cook the potatoes in the beef fat, and then um, add your meat back in to reheat it. Just cook until it it's just done. But yeah, I, I do this. This is a waterproof camera. If I close everything up, take the microphone and the adapter off, and dunk this underwater, it's completely watertight. It doesn't stay in the fridge long, and it, like I said, it's completely waterproof. I just take the microphone off, and anything that I know can get damaged because of moisture, I take it out of there. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> my wife is texting me so yeah this is one of my 
camera setups. And uh, I actually went with the GoPro Hero 7 because, one, you don't have to change out batteries. Because it just charges itself. And the power pack, I can just plug it in. And the only downfall of this one is, is I can't attach a monitor to it. And that's that's the only thing. But uh, I have the cables here where I can actually, if it's starting to get low, I can put this in the power pack. I mostly use this camera for B-roll. I use my Canon M50 for the um, my headshots and some of like the product shots that I do. Get them really sharp with. I have a couple different lenses I like to use. Yeah, cold camera. Yeah, just slightly. But it's fun. It's just a fun shot to, to do, and it just makes it more interesting. And it, it's like, oh, he put a camera in the fridge. Let's see what he's going to be doing next. They might want to see it again. I don't know. I don't know. I know this is not a get rich quick thing. So, but uh, we're all working very hard to get where we are and it is amazing so uh guys anyway i'm gonna wrap this up it is a good shot yes it is so anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this up um this was just kind of a practice run for me but um actually i went off on some really cool topics and i hope people were inspired by this i hope you people are watching this um i will have these scheduled more often I, I definitely want to hear from people and I'm going to have some guests on uh, hopefully soon. And uh, if you also get a chance, subscribe to Yellow Culinary Arts, subscribe to Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen. Um, great channel to subscribe to, support what they're doing. They're doing amazing stuff. And uh, just if you see a young content creator who doesn't have a lot of Subscribers, subscribe to their channel, support them, help them realize their dream. Help me realize mine. I'm going to subscribe to people because I like to subscribe to them. You know, we're all working towards the same goal. We want to get to that point where we can actually do this and have fun with it and have a career we can enjoy or make extra money and um, get to the point. You know, we all see the guys with all of the subscribers like, we see the royalty family. We see the LeBrant family. We see Mr. Beast. We see Kid Behind the Camera, McJugger Nuggets. You know, did I say Darman? Yeah, Darman. These guys with millions of subscribers and billions of views. And more power to them. They 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 figured it out. But that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure it out. So take a chance. Watch, listen, because we're just all trying to be heard. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, thank you for joining me on my practice. Thank you, Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen. Thank you, Yellow Gate, Yellow Culinary Arts. You guys, go be awesome. Chef out. See you later.